Hello, everybody, and welcome to Exploring Fort Saskatchewan with your hosts, Mayor Gail Catcher and Curtis Dominic. I, you know what? I will never get tired of that. I love that. I, I can't Slapping remember. the mayor's hand. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I know one day you're going to miss by accident and just like right in the face and it's going to be because you and my wife talked or something and I did something wrong. Hey everybody, welcome to another another episode of Exploring Fort Saskatchewan. I'm Curtis Dominic and I'm here as always with the mayor of our beautiful city. You know what, at 9 o'clock in the morning it's so beautiful. Yes it is. It's a gorgeous day in the city of Fort Saskatchewan. It's beautiful. Yes. Mayor Ketcher, how are you today? Excellent. Uh, a little bit tired. We had a really, really busy weekend, which of course you would know because you were part of as well. So, But I, uh, you know what? I, I, I'm busy, but then we talk to you and you tell us everything you do for this city and I'm blown away because there was three fundraisers on Saturday plus the Santa Claus parade. Yes, and, and lights up. And I love Lights Up. And, you know, I want to thank everybody for coming out to it. Uh, Friday night, um, you know, there had to be well over a thousand people that came out. Wow. Well, everybody come out with their uh, little ones and got some Santa pictures. And it's always so fun to read Twas the Night Before Christmas. And then uh, Saturday with the Santa Claus Parade and a full lineup. Um, I mean, bake sale, lunch at the Anglican Church, um, Santa's workshop for Families First at the Alliance Church. Um, you know, it's just amazing what this community does to give back. Uh, we just went and, and just went to everything that we could and then later that evening it was the Firefighters Awards Night. That one is always very touching. A little more somber this year because the passing of our dear friend Walter Thomas. But you know what, at the end of the day it's really about recognizing these wonderful people who go out and serve to protect us. So we um, we celebrate them on that evening and they do their awards. Doug Stein received the Walter Thomas Award. Just, uh, you know, just exemplifies what Walter was all about. You know, the caring, the compassion, really giving back to, uh, back to his department. Um, but then I was able to join you and Lisa for the fundraiser for Gloria. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that because you and Lisa were very instrumental in that. Well, you know, I'll just say that it was Emma that started it. Uh, Lisa and Leanne from uh, Titan Towing kind of ran with it. Uh, they asked me to, to do a video for them and exploring Fort Saskatchewan, which I did. And then uh, it kind of snowballed and it just kind of showed like, like you mentioned earlier, that when this when the city gets together, I don't think there's nothing it can't do because it came together for Gloria, and it it was it was I don't want to say magical because that word's used too much, but it was I was in awe just when you look at the Bears Den and it was packed with people that were there just for her and and spending money and giving and giving it's. It, it, I was humbled by the experience when they asked me to MC because it's just, I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. And then you just see Gloria the whole night. She was having like the time of her life and it's, it's just, I don't know, to think about it now, you still get those kind of goose, goosebumps where it's like, we did something amazing for this woman and we raised over $20,000 that's like, fantastic. When you wow. think about that, like, yep. that's incredible. And you know what, that, that was the one question we talked about that I wanted to ask you. As the mayor, when you see something like this and all the citizens pulled together and we do something like this, how does it make you feel? Like, Well, it makes me feel pretty proud to be the mayor of Fort Saskatchewan. And, uh, you know, really it's about a community that continues to give back. And that's what I was talking about earlier. Uh, this community, when somebody is suffering, they step up. 
I mean, in this case, businesses gave donations, people gave personal donations, and it's to ease Gloria. Uh, pain right now. I mean, for those who don't know, Gloria is uh, from Gloria's Soup Kitchen, our soup and sandwich uh, on, on 100th Avenue, and she has served so many of us for so many years, and she's fighting uh, a battle with cancer. And you know what? It's it's these times when you're you're struggling the most that you need a hand, and you know sometimes you don't have enough for the medicine, or you need you know additional equipment, or there's something that you require. And healthcare doesn't cover it all, you know. So uh, to be able to have a community that came together for her, you know, it just you could feel the warmth and the love. And I mean, when we hugged, it was you know it was it was heartwarming yeah. and you know it was just like you know what we care about the citizens in our community and this is something that you know what there's so many times we we want to you know talk about negative things but you know what this is really about saying we have so many wonderful people in our community and if we could just all act that way for a moment in time our entire community would be healed you know but uh, you you did a great job I was so proud when I was there and and uh, I missed the silent auction by about eight minutes. I was like, oh my God, I didn't get to buy anything to show my support. But I did give a donation that night because that's what it's about. See, that's amazing. Like, I don't know. It, 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 my wife kind of mentioned, and uh, not to put you on the spot, but when you came in, it, it was kind of, everybody saw you and I don't want to say you brought together the entire room, but you kind of did. You brought together, like everybody was, it's just when you walk in, it's it, it's almost like the celebrity. Yeah, I, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, <laughs> I'm not trying to puff you up a lot, but that's what it kind of felt like. It's like, oh my God, the mayor's here, the mayor's here. And it's, 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 a, it's a sign of respect and admiration for you that you came. You had a full day, but you made sure that you were there. Now he's and making me blush. There, really. see, that's, <laughs> you made me blush. I want to make you blush a little bit, but no, it's it's incredible that you're so involved and that you go out of your way to do this. And this is why the people, again, we, it, I'm not political, we don't want to say anything, but this is why you're mayor. I just want to thank our sponsors who helped bring this show to you, starting off with the Canadian Brew House. Go down and see Chad, tell him I sent you, you sit back, you enjoy all the TVs, the amazing food, the different flavors of beer. You go there after work to kick back or take your entire family just because you don't want to do dishes. It's an incredible place to go to, the Canadian Brew House here in the Fort Saskatchewan. We also want to say hello to our newest sponsor, Simply Stunning Hair and Makeup. Lisa and all the girls down there will make you look look incredible if you're a guy you're going to come out conor mcgregor and you're going to want to take somebody's belt away from them and i would suggest this i picked up this product go 24 7. i'm kind of a girly man i like my peppermint shampoo i guess you could say this stuff incredible and i put it on my beard oh my god it is incredible for all the guys out there who have a beer or the beer for, i'm talking about the neighbor house again for all the guys that have a beard it's so awesome. Check it out. Go see Lisa. Simply stunning. 24-7. I guess we're going to go back to the vidcast. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Give me your belt! Well, you know, I always say it's got to be about the love of the people. And that's what it's about for me. You know, you do this job because you love the citizens and you want to serve them. That's really what this job is all about. And, uh... Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, I post my pictures on my mayor's Facebook page. I also post them on as many other pages that I'm following at Absolutely. this point in time. So if you want to see the photos from the weekends and what's going on, go on to my Gail Catcher Mayor Fort Saskatchewan Facebook page, right and they um, and and I post them all from the weekend. And I take hundreds of pictures. Now some people say, "Oh, why do you do that?" And and most of these pictures are about 
you or wherever I'm at because I want to showcase to the rest of the world who is in our community and uh, just how beautiful and thoughtful and caring this community is. When I talk to people and I say, why did you choose Fort Saskatchewan? And it really is about the quality of life and the caring that, uh, that they're choosing it. And that's what I love about it. So get out and explore our beautiful city. Oh yeah, see she wants to wrap it up now because she's worried that I might say something <laughs> else to make her blush. No, uh, but I want to say that, and you know what, there was one question my wife was bringing up and maybe we can kind of direct people towards it. When it comes to fundraisers in this city, who would you recommend or who would you say to go to or how would they go about doing this? Do they need a permit? Do they need anything like that? Or is it just something where they need to kind of spread the word, get out there or... Okay, so in, in the instance of the fundraiser from Gloria, so um, Lisa contacted me. She's uh, from Simply uh, Stunning Hair, Hair and Beauty Salon. She contacted me and she says, Gail, what do I do? What do I do? I need a venue. I need, I need something. How do I start? And I said to her, well, I said, if you're going to use a city venue, it's sometimes a little more complicated because you do need to rent it out. But she went out and she was able to find the Bear's Den. And that was an excellent excellent venue because oh it didn't God. cost her anything to actually hold it there. So these are the things you want to think about because you want to make money. You don't want to have to be expending money in order to, you know, to, to make money. So uh, in most instances, no, you don't need a permit. You uh, get your venue, you go around, you collect silent auction items, you sell tickets and you get people to come and support it. You know, and it's really about getting the word out. And in this case, she used your services to do a video and uh, to say, come to the Bear's Den and support Gloria. So, I mean, it's really about getting the word out and getting people into it. Um, I know they have done fundraisers. The Legion has done fundraisers for several of their members. Um, you know, it's just really about caring people who get out there and reach and and, uh, and pull people together to, to make this happen. Okay. All right. Well, there was a lot of people asking these questions, so that's it. Get out there, do it. Social media, social media, social media. Yeah. And then on that night, just have fun. Yes. And, and it was, you know, um, that's one thing that I give Gloria credit. You know, it doesn't matter how much she's uh, struggling with her pain. You know what, the first thing she said to me when I got there, have you eaten? And I was like, don't worry about me. This is about you. You know, we hugged, she did a little dance. You know, she, she is just the most beautiful woman. And that's why the community really wanted to get out and support her. I thank her for everything that she has done in this community over the years. I've eaten many sandwiches and a lot of soup, and it's always just delicious. So kind, so caring, and, and it's so much, you know. Like, she doesn't give you a little sandwich, she gives you a big sandwich, so. But uh, that's, that's what you want to do. Come out, explore our businesses in Fort Saskatchewan, all of them. Come downtown, uh, stop in, say hi to Lisa, stop in, say hi to Gloria, I think she's still working. Go to the Bear's Den, thank them for, uh, oh, yeah. for being able to host these events. Just get out and say thank you to the businesses who support our citizens. And thank you, Curtis, for doing this for them. So with that, we'll wind it up and I'll say, Come out to our beautiful city of Fort Saskatchewan. Explore what we have to offer. It's a beautiful city. That's what? <laughs> <laughs> Exploring Fort Saskatchewan is a product of Dominic Digital.